Hey everyone, Dr. Brad here from uh, kidseatingbroccoli.com and drellisor.com and I wanted to do a recording today about time and priorities and uh, I was inspired by this um, today by my own experience and uh, so my wife was attending a birth um, she's a doula birth coach and so forth and uh, she was up about 2 in the morning and so um, it's Sunday and so I was home with the kids all day which is great when I get a chance to do that of course I did have in mind that I was going to do a whole bunch of work on my uh, some of my websites and so forth and uh, didn't get a chance to do a lot of that because you know the kids take a lot of attention and in light of that when it was time for eating um, I could have tried to go some easy, uh, convenient route and not really, you know, worried about that part of things. But, uh, but you know, it's Sunday and I'm home and I wanted to have an experience with them of uh, something enjoyable and uh, something new. So we decided to make, or I decided to make uh, some uh, cauliflower bread uh, grilled cheese. And uh, it was pretty cool. It didn't, didn't really quite go how they say in the video. Um, a lot harder to make the breads if you uh, caught that video online on my Facebook or just on Facebook in general. Um, but what it made me think about is uh, in terms of some of the considerations people have about eating healthy uh, or having their kids eat healthy is uh, a matter of time. You know, the, the, the most common reasons we have for making choices of convenience rather than health are time and money. And uh, so as far as time goes, I think that, you know, it's really mislabeled, just like with anything when we talk about time as an excuse. It's really about priorities, and I think it's really about understanding what our values are. And once we understand and are honest with ourselves what our values are, then either accepting that or doing things to change how we look at things in, in terms of our value system. And so, for example, or if you're wondering what I mean, yeah, all you have to do is really take a look at what you spend your time doing or what you spend your time on. You know, if studying and learning and experiencing about how to have your kids be the healthiest possible, then you know that's high on your value list. If you spend a lot of time uh, when your kids are when you're home with your kids, you know, playing Tetris on your phone and you know ignoring them, then you know that's on your value list. <clears throat> and and I think that the important thing is is identifying where our values are first and foremost, and really being honest with ourselves. And once we've done that, then we can go about the work of of either uh, getting our organizational system in line with what our values are, or um, doing things to change our values and really get them in line with what we want them to be. Uh, and so once you've identified that, then it's looking at your priorities and organizing your life for your priorities. If health and having a healthy family and having your kids learn a healthy lifestyle for their legacy, for passing on to their kids and their kids' kids, then it's really uh, a matter of prioritizing and organizing for that to be something that's, that's cared for a lot. And so... Uh, when we haven't done that, it can seem like a lot of work. And I just um, did a podcast interview the other day, which I haven't released yet, with uh, Sally Fallon Morell, um, one of my nutrition heroes. She wrote Nourishing Traditions, a couple other books. Um, and Nourishing Traditions was a profound book in my life when I first read it about 17 years ago because it was really what struck me about it was so much of the information in there was about preparation and about how the food is prepared in these ancient cultures and how much that was the, the, the important part of things more so even than like what the food was because around the world in different areas they have different things growing and living so they couldn't all eat the same stuff I mean there were some cultures that were nomadic and, and farmed animals and that's all they had was milk and meat and blood and very little vegetables because they're in you know arid regions and then there's other cultures that were in jungles and, and had all kinds of uh, vegetables and fruits available so but the thing about all of these cultures and the way they ate that was health-giving was that they took a lot of attention in their preparation and the care of the food. And so when I first learned about that stuff, I was, it was profound, and I thought it was awesome. And I thought, 
how in the world could I ever put that much time and attention into my own eating and preparation because it's, it's hours and hours and, and I wasn't doing it at all. And the thing is, is you can't jump in, you know, and do it all at once. You have to take it step by step. But a little bit of attention and a little bit of uh, organization and prioritization allows you to really make those changes and start doing some preparation work and start making stuff yourself and really making a difference in your kids' health and their, their, the legacy of their health. Because when, we, when our kids experience us making things from scratch and doing things at home, you know, taking the time in preparing our food, they have an experience of us putting a value and an importance on our life and our food and the health and the, the energy that our food is giving us. And, you know, even if they don't eat the stuff, even if they don't like it, whatever we're making, when they have that experience, they take that with them. And that just becomes part of what they do. Um, and it's much easier for them to do the prioritize and organize those things in their lives when they're adults and when they have kids and when their kids are adults. So keep in mind when you hear yourself saying, I would do this or I want to do that, but I, I'm not going to because I don't have time, that it's really never about time. And that's just a cue to look at your, prioritize, your priorities, really your values, and then if you're prioritizing and organizing around what's, what's valuable for you. And if not, you know, take a look at that and reorganize because it's not ever about the time. All right. You take care. This is Dr. Brad signing off.